talk about this crazy weekend because it was Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. The event that for us at least crossed out of our normal circles. Oh no, this event, <laughs> I, not had many people in my life have reached out to me in some way and watched the fight or were talking about the fight since Floyd Mayweather fought Conor McGregor in 2017. <laughs> and before that, it was probably when Floyd Mayweather fought Manny Pacquiao in 2015. Yeah. So is this going to be the third biggest boxing pay-per-view <laughs> in history? Maybe. It might be. It really might. I'll be curious to see, yeah, be able to see the numbers on that, see what comes back, because we definitely, yeah. Like I mean, there you was said, definitely like a out. lot of noise on social media about yeah. how, oh, this is terrible and it's not a real fight and oh, who's going to buy it? But then I didn't notice anybody wasn't watching it. Everybody was watching <laughs> it on social media. So um, definitely, yeah. I was interested We can interested get into in it. that. It was but fun. I liked it. Let's just talk first about the fight Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Now, I was kind of concerned that what I was seeing, the clips I was seeing of Tyson, weren't very accurate. And, but my tune changed because I saw live footage via his Instagram, but you could tell like it was just somebody, you know, put this on Instagram, him warming up before the fat fight. And I was like, hmm. Oh, he looked pretty Tyson good. Looks pretty good <laughs> for being fifty-four years old. <laughs> then I went to Roy's Roy's accounts, and I was like, he's not posting anything, so I couldn't get a, a glimpse of Roy before the fight started. But but Tyson looked good. So the 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 match between them, there was all this you know talk about like these guys are just old and blah blah blah. But I don't they. They look pretty good. They look pretty good in They're the They look ring. really good, especially when I Tyson. I have seen I worse I thought, boxing matches. I thought know? both of them look good. The problem that Roy has was kind of explained by Max Kellerman on Twitter. If you follow Max Kellerman, longtime boxing aficionado and expert, <laughs> he argued that Mike Tyson was the technically more precise fighter. Like, as far as technically speaking, how his movements were and are were, were more technically correct. And that Roy was like the more athletic right. guy, right? So prime? Roy's, <laughs> Roy's prime, never been a better fighter I've seen in my life. But <laughs> that prime starts to go away around somewhere around age 33 and then it never returns. And so while I thought Roy fought a good fight, he's never going to be what he was, right? He yeah, and we've talked about time. this with other Mike fighters. Mike could more closely recreate something similar to what he was because there are certain styles that age Just well. About style. So I think a Floyd Mayweather ages well. Yeah, it does. I think. And we knew that. We were talking about that, you and I, before he got old. Mm -hmm. His style will age well because of just the style it is yeah but there's some styles that don't age well and it he, might be that roy's style which depended so heavily on athleticism hasn't aged as well i would also say that when i saw roy come in the ring for this he had that look in his eye he had nerves like yeah. he was <laughs> i was kind of it made me a little unsteady me too yeah. his nerves were emanating out from from california all the way to texas and and i was like i could feel it you know and it took him a round or two for those nerves to get out now i heard tyson uh smoked a bunch of weed before the fight so he was chill he was totally <laughs> calm and chill so he he didn't deter from his his regular you know activities and yeah he came in because, you know, he was the, the A-side, so he came in second, and he came in like he owned the place, you know? Like, he walked in he with confidence. He literally did own the place. <laughs> he just, so, so there was, it was just that coming in, but I thought once the fight got going, yeah, are they in their 50s? Yes. Is it apparent that they're older? Yes. <laughs> was it fun, though? Yes. It was a really fun fight to watch. It. When well, you take just this skill that they were able to bring even at the, over the age of 50 plus the nostalgia Man, i mean i'm all for like i loved it i, was I can't like, wait can... i was all totally against mike tyson versus evander holyfield three but now i'm all for it i want to see that fight why not now the only thing i will say is it looked like mike tyson was a better conditioned out of the two as well yeah and so i'm wondering Say we started a, a seniors league in professional boxing, right? Could and you had Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., Evander, like all these people, right? Lennox. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lennox Lewis. Are they? Are That's they, an inside joke. Are they all going to look more like Roy and less like Tyson? 
Prob- prob- I don't know what Tice is doing know. behind the scenes. I know that it he- could be some. But they they did do Vata did, testing yeah. for this, right? So I mean, I just we. But he I don't know. I know really that well conditioned. Vander's older. He think he's fifty eight. <laughs> so I don't. I don't necessarily really want to see Vander back. Yeah. Anything, but he is in incredible shape too. And I'm never against people getting to do what they want. There's there's a guy in the boxing gym I go to, Main Street, who's way older than those guys. He's yeah. still competing as an amateur. Let them do what they want to do. That's what they want to do. And I'm so glad that you brought that up because I I got some passion about this thing. And this is that the idea out there, what I hear lots of people talking about is apparently once you get to a certain age, you're not allowed to have dreams. You're not allowed to pursue any dreams. You're not allowed to like do what you want in life. There are limited things that you can do and then that's it. Otherwise, you're a joke. You're washed up. Like there is some serious ageism out there. And I am like it. I find I'm it's just infuriated like, I feel by like it. it's. I don't know if it's ageism. I mean, whatever you want to call it. Here's. I think that in a lot of ways, sometimes it emanates from a good place, and that you love, say, a Vander Holyfield or Mike Tyson, and you don't want to see them get hurt. Fine, but this is boxing, and here's the thing: it's only. It's not really intellectually uh, sound because there's all sorts of guys that Vander Holyfield. Mike Tyson beat the crap of beat the crap out of that you never heard of and never saw again that went five and twenty in the sport and nobody yeah. cared about told them those guys couldn't fight right yeah so I think that I think it's more about we the fans tend to want to hold on to things instead of just letting things be what they are but I see this in different areas as well yeah. so our, another recent example is when we had the instant replay debacle. In, in boxing and man people jumped on the oh, referee because he was in it like so old so he couldn't what watch a replay monitor like it's not the one he, like he's in the truck like I, I just I don't get this thing that if you're over a certain age you you're just like oh I can't do anything I can't hear you I can't like I I think it infuriates me. I think people deserve to be treated with respect and dignity and that it doesn't matter what age you are, are, it's okay for you to live life fully, boldly. Yeah, like, and to <laughs> fail, to make mistakes. Yeah. Which brings me to Nate Robinson. 